Unit 1 Food 1. Reproduction in Plants In this chapter you will learn about Necessity of plants in life That new plants grow from seeds the dispersal of seeds Dispersal by wind Dispersal by animals Dispersal by water Dispersal by explosion New plants grow from the other plants of the plants also Crops and their protection all living things depend on plants to live and grow. We get many things from plants. Plants give us food, cereals, vegetables and fruits come from plants. Sugar, pulses and oil are also given by plants. Plants give us wood. Fibers, rubber, gum, tea, and coffee. They also give us life giving oxygen. Planting more trees increases forest wealth and it helps to reduce soil erosion. Plants make our world beautiful. Life on earth cannot exist without plants. New plants from seeds. Most plants bear flowers. Once flowers bloom, they turn brown. The petals fall off and they change into fruits. Fruits have seeds inside them. New plants grow from these seeds. Why do plants produce so many seeds? Plants produce many seeds because all these seeds do not grow into new plants because some seeds are not healthy and do not germinate. Some seeds are destroyed by wind or heavy rain. Some seeds are eaten by animals, insects and birds. Some seeds do not get the right conditions to germinate. Look at this bean seed carefully. This picture shows how a bean seed looks like. Seed coat Seed leaves An outer covering called seed coat protects the baby plant inside the seed. The seed coat has a tiny hole through which the seed gets water. Seed leaves or cotyledons store food from the baby plant. If a seed gets the right amount of water, air and warmth from the sun, a seed will produce a baby plant or seedling. The process by which a seed produces a baby plant is called germination. The seed gets water, air and warmth. The seed coat breaks and the baby plant emerges. The baby plant develops roots and a shoot. As the plant grows in size, it develops leaves. The cotyledons shrink and fall off. During the early stages of germination, the seedling gets the food from the cotyledons. As the food inside the cotyledons has been used up, the seedling gets its food from the soil. The seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the soil with its roots. It then develops leaves and grows into a plant. Air required for germination reaches a seed through pores in the soil. This is why soil is so important for a plant to grow. Plants cannot move from one place to another. 
but if all baby plants grow near the mother plant all of them cannot survive they cannot get enough sunlight food water and space to grow in nature many plants scatter their seeds so that they do not grow too close to one another the process by which seeds are scattered away from the plant that produces them is called dispersal dispersal by wind seeds of certain plants are very light the seeds of orchid are as fine as dust they are carried to a new place by the wind many seeds like dandelion and cotton have hairy growths which act like little parachutes and carry them away from the parent plant cotton seed madder seed hiptage seed dispersal by animals animals and birds eat fruits of some plants the seeds of these fruits passed into their excretion and are left in different places they can be away from the parent plant jamun cherry and apple seeds are dis dispersed in this way human beings also eat fruits like orange mango pear and plums the flesh is eaten and the seeds are thrown away when the seeds get the right conditions they germinate some fruits like tiger's claw dhatura and burdock have seeds with hooks the hooks catch on the fur of animals and are carried away santhium seed pear grass tiger nail seed did you know squirrels bury seeds and nuts for eating them during winter sometimes squirrels forget where they had buried the seeds such seeds often germinate and grow into new plants dispersal by water seeds of some plants like lotus and coconut are spongy or have a fibrous covering this help them to float on water so coconuts are carried away by water coconuts can travel thousands of kilometers across seas and oceans without decaying when they reach the shore they germinate if they get the right condition lotus seed coconut seed dispersal by explosion fruits of certain plants like poppy pea and bean burst open when they are ripe then their seeds are scattered in all directions this mechanism of seed dispersion is called explosion pea seed bean seeds did you know farmers keep carefully chosen healthy seeds from their crops these are sown again for the next year's crop gardeners also keep seeds of flowers and vegetables stored seeds are kept dry so that they do not germinate too early new plants besides growing from seeds new plants also grow from some part of the old or parent plants some plants grow from cuttings gardeners often cut off a piece of the stem of a hibiscus plant and put it into the ground root grow and new leaves sprout from it the stem becomes a new plant roses are grown from cuttings 
Sometimes a portion of the stem is buried under the ground. New roots from there and a new plant starts to grow. Jasmine creepers are usually grown like this. Potatoes, sweet potatoes and ginger grow from underground parts of the plant. Bryophyllum reproduces from its leaves. Underground stem growing into a new plant. A stem cutting growing into a new plant. A root growing into a new plant. New plants growing from a leaf. Crops and vegetables. The plants of the same kind grown at a particular area at a particular time are called crops. If we know the conditions suitable for the germination of seeds, we can grow better crops. Different plants grow in different climates and seasons. They also require different kinds of soil. Crops that grow from June to October are Kharif crops. They depend largely on the monsoon rains. Examples are paddy and maize. Kharif crop, rabi crop. Crops that grow from November to April are rabi crops. They do not depend on the monsoon rains. Examples are wheat, beans and legumes. Vegetables grow best in soil that contains minerals. Vegetables like cabbage, peas, cauliflower, carrot, radish need cool climate to grow well. Vegetables like brinjal and pumpkin need a warm climate. Melons, watermelons, potatoes and onions grow well in the sandy soil of river beds. Paddy grows in wet and clay soil. Wheat grows well in well-drained soil in the temperate regions. Cotton grows well in the black lava soil and jute grows in light alluvial soil in a hot and wet climate. Tea and coffee plants grow well on hill slopes because they need plenty of water that does not remain standing for a long time near the roots. Manure is added to the soil to increase any produce. Nowadays, farmers use fertilizers like urea, superphosphate, ammonium sulfate, etc. However, overuse of chemical fertilizers is harmful. Protection of crops The crops do not grow well if we do not take proper care. So, we need to protect our crops against A. Insects like grasshoppers, locusts and caterpillars. B. Diseases. C. Grazing animals like buffaloes and goats. Insecticides and pesticides are sprayed on crops. To protect them from pests. The fungicides are used to kill the microbes to prevent diseases in plants. Grazing animals are kept away by proper fencing. Birds are kept away by using a scarecrow. The best way to protect the grains is to store them in waterproof, insect proof, Airtight, sealed plastic containers. Roundup.
All living things depend on plants to live and grow. Plants produce a large number of seeds because all these seeds do not grow into new plants. The process by which a seed produces a baby plant is called germination. The process by which the seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal. New plants also grow from some parts of the parent plant. Different plants grow in different climates and seasons. 